this challenge, I'll work with timer reset and timer events. It's best not to use timer reset. As I showed in an earlier challenge, the timer doesn't have to be reset to be used. Timer resets can cause problems when the timer value is used by more than one sprite. First I'll get the cat sprite working with a the timer, then I'll add the second sprite. I'll go to events, when the green flag is clicked, control, use a forever loop. If the timer is greater than three seconds, I want to reset the timer. Get if operators greater than, if the timer is greater than three, sensing timer, if the timer is greater than three, reset the timer. Okay. I also want to say something. Looks. Say. Only for one second. I reset the timer. Good. I'll show the timer variable now. Sensing. Timer. Bring it over the top. Timer variable is available for all the sprites. There is no sprite name in front of it. I'll stop the program. No change in timer value. I'll start it. It restarts. The count goes to three. I get the message timer is reset back to zero. Keeps doing this. That's good enough. I'll stop it now. Notice the timer does not stop when the program stops. Timer is always running. I'll remove it from the display. It can get a little distracting. If another sprite is using the timer for its own needs, one sprite will affect the other. I'll create a new sprite. I'll go to New Sprite, Animals, Cat 2. I'll bring the cat down below. I'll copy the code from Sprite 1. Drop it on Cat 2. Code's still available on Cat 1. I'll change the 3 to a 5. I can run this code right now without running the other cat. This way I can see that the counter is actually being reset. Show the reset timer. Counts up to 5. Gets reset. I see the message. I'm confident this code works. I'll remove the timer from the screen. Stop the program. I still have Sprite 1. It's going to get to reset the timer if the timer is greater than 3. When a timer increments up to 3, Sprite 1 will reset the timer. Sprite 2 will not have a chance to because the timer value won't be greater than 5. I expect to see only Cat 1 say, I reset the timer. Cat 2 won't say any messages. I'll try the program now. Stop. Run. See what happens. There's the cat. I can show the timer again. Timer's being reset. Cat 1 keeps resetting the timer when it gets to 3. Cat 2 never gets a chance to reset the timer. I'll stop the program. Get timer off the stage. Be very careful resetting the timer. Changing it in one sprite can have a surprising effect on another sprite. I also want to show timer events. I'll go to events. I'll use the stage. When the timer, I can select the timer value. When the timer is greater than, change that to a 2. When the timer is greater than 2, I'll increment a counter. The stage doesn't have a sprite, so I can't use looks to print out a message. I'll go to data, make a variable. I'll call it count. All sprites, OK. Move it up over the middle. Whenever the timer is greater than 2, I'll have it change the counter. I need to set the value. I want to set it to 0 when the green flag is clicked. I'm ready to run the program. Stop. Start. Counts at 0. Counts at 1. Cat says I reset the timer. The cat will say this message every 3 seconds when it resets the timer. 
the stage will be informed every time the timer goes above two seconds. The count's going up, be seven, and the message, eight, and the message, nine at two seconds, ten at three seconds. I'll stop the program. It was working nicely. Sometimes it can be handy to do something when the timer value is reached. I'm finished with this challenge. I hope you'll play with the program and get comfortable with resetting the timer and with handling timer events. Try changing the program. How will the program behave if Sprite 1 doesn't reset the timer? I hope you have fun with this little program. <laughs>